to subscribe! Oh no! It's an emergency! Press the button to find out what's going on! Detective Eddie! Look at my map and help me find the treasure! Oh! I have a new case! Detective to the rescue! Tap on the hold button to start transforming! Yep! Detective Eddie! Transformation complete! Oh no! The treasure map has been ripped apart! Oh yeah! 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 to find the entrance of the cave with the treasure. Find the missing key in the maze. Have a toothache. Be a dentist and cure their teeth. Take an x ray. <laughs> Catch the germs. Shot of painkiller. Pull out the rotten tooth.
Give him a new tooth. Cleanse the teeth. The dentist helped cure teeth. Don't forget to brush your teeth every day. One early morning, the brainy Dr. Eddy called his friends over. Hey guys, gather around! What was the important matter? I found a map inside an old book. Wow! His friends were amazed, and Eddie asked them to go on a treasure hunt. The friends eagerly got on the aircraft that Eddie invented. The first treasure is way up high in the sky! Off we go! As Eddie pressed the button, the aircraft carrying his friends flew up into the sky. The first friends they met up in the sky were migratory birds. The birds were changing their patterns as they were flying towards the warm south. Hello there, little friends. This time, they came across a big hot air balloon. A cool grandfather with a mustache was riding it. Wow! Take a look at the ground beneath us! When they looked down, all the big houses and trees looked so small. Just like little toys. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. This time, a beautiful rainbow appeared above the clouds. When the airplane reached the rainbow, it disappeared with a pop. Just then, a scary hurricane came along. The hurricane threw the aircraft up higher into the sky. Soon, the friends reached a white land of clouds. There, they saw lots of weirdly shaped clouds. A big jet airplane was passing by. Hello! The friends waved their hands towards the plane. As they went higher up into the sky, the temperature started to drop, and the oxygen level dropped too. Where is the treasure? Just then, they saw a treasure chest floating around in the distance. Go, super robotic arm! Bororo and his friends were so excited.
Oh no, the aircraft started to plunge down. <gasps> I think it's all out of fuel. What? <laughs> Eddie quickly pressed a button, and balloons started to spill out of the aircraft. Phew, what a relief. That was scary, Krong. Wow! The sunset view from the sky was breathtaking. Bororo and his friends thought the sky was such an amazing place. The second treasure is in a dense forest! Let's go on an exciting expedition to the jungle! Off we go! As Eddie pressed the button, the aircraft carrying his friends flew up into the sky. As soon as the aircraft arrived at the jungle, they saw enormous trees. Wow! It's endless! It's really big, Krong! Just then, they heard something. Help! As they went closer, they saw a boy stuck in a swamp. One, two! One, two! The friends worked together and rescued the boy. Then the boy said, Thank you so much. My name is Tarzan. Tarzan decided to help the team explore on a raft. Wow! I see some fish! Be careful! They are carnivorous piranhas! Tarzan also introduced them to the birds living in the jungle. Each bird had its own unique color. Tarzan then introduced them to the monkeys on the trees. There was also a big gorilla among the monkeys. He also introduced them to the flowers. There was even a scary flower that fed on animals. Soon the raft reached a grand waterfall. My house is over there. I'll treat you guys to a delicious meal. Tarzan's house was filled with different tropical fruits. They look good! Everyone was excited and feasted on the fruits. Just then, a big anaconda appeared. <laughs> I have come to eat you all! Everyone was scared. But then Tarzan threw a rotten fruit into the anaconda's mouth. Take that! <laughs> huh? What's this? <coughs> Oh, my stomach! Oh, the pain! The anaconda got a tummy ache and threw up. Then he slithered away. Phew! That was close. But where the snake threw up, they saw the treasure chest. Wow! The anaconda must have swallowed the treasure! Until late into the night. Early in the morning, Smarty <laughs> Dr. Eddie called over Deary because he wanted to boast about the submarine he made by himself. 
Deary wanted to try out Eddie's cool submarine. So Eddie spoke. All right, then I'll drive the car. The submarine that had on Deary and Eddie sailed to the middle of the ocean. And then it slowly sailed into the deep sea. Whoa! It was beautiful under the sea. There were corals, sea anemones, and pretty starfishes in shallow water. This time, the submarine came across the sea turtles. The kind turtles waved their hands for Deary. This time, the submarine came across a group of fish. The group of fish changed their formation into different shapes. This time, the submarine ran into a mother whale and a baby whale. The mother whale was very big, so it looked like a big mountain was floating in the water. This time, the submarine ran into a huge octopus. The octopus was very surprised to see the submarine, so he shot black ink at them. The submarine went deeper into the sea, and there they saw strange-looking fish. There were five-colored jellyfish and fish that twinkled. It was at that moment when a big shark showed up. The shark thought the submarine was his food, so he started attacking. Ah, watch out! When frightened Eddie pushed the exit button, the top opened up and Deary and Eddie popped out. Ah! They soared up and flew into the sky. Luckily, the two fell on the sand. But Eddie was very sad because he lost the submarine. No! My submarine! On the next day, Eddie began to make a stronger submarine with Deary because he wanted to go see the cool sea again. <laughs> Let's take a look at Smart Eddie's Day. Open the curtains. Open the windows. Press the alarm clock. off the blanket. Tickle your friend. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Wash the face with water. Put soap on the face. Wash the face with water. Dry the face with a towel. <laughs> Feed.
need your friend. Mm, I'm hungry. Bum, bum, bum. 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 Brown rice. Bum, bum, bum. Radish kimchi. Spiced spinach. Marinated beef. Stir fried mushrooms. Beef radish soup. Wow, I'm full. Put toothpaste on the toothbrush. Brush the teeth from side to side. Rinse the mouth. Friend on the toilet. I need to poop. Help your friend poop. <laughs> wow, they I pooped. feel better now. <laughs> Push the lever and flush the toilet. Turn off the light so Eddie can go to sleep. <laughs> Eddie is fast asleep. Great job today, Eddie. Oh no, it seems like Eddie's got a cold. Eddie came to the hospital with a worried face. <coughs> Oh, I have a headache and can't stop coughing. I need to go to the hospital. Welcome. I have a fever. My nose keeps running and I'm coughing too much. Let's check your temperature first. Put the thermometer in Eddie's ear. Your body temperature is a little high. Please go and see Dr. Petty. Eddie went to Dr. Petty and explained how he was feeling. Hmm, you have a fever, a runny nose, and can't stop coughing? Let me examine you first. Take in a deep breath and breathe out for me. <sighs> Phew. Now I'll use my stethoscope.
Well done. Now I'll take a look at your throat. Ah. Uh... You've come down with a serious flu. You must have been in pain. Take your medicine and get some sleep. You will feel better in no time. Eddie lay down on the bed and got treated. Let's take care of the fever first. Put the ice pack on Eddie's head. The fever will soon go down. Now, let's take the medicine prescribed by Dr. Petty. Give Eddie the medicine. Now, let's take a good long sleep. Eddie took the medicine and went to sleep. When Eddie woke up again, Dr. Petty was there waiting with a bright smile. How do you feel? Do you feel better? Yes, my headache is gone and I don't think I have a fever anymore. That's great to hear. It looks you are almost well now. I think so too, doctor. Thank you very much. Eddie got healthy again and went back home. If you are also sick, do not wait and go to the hospital with your parents. Uh, my skin is becoming bumpy and it's really itchy. <laughs> Check their skin with a magnifying glass. Well, let's have a look. Look for the germs on their hands. Touch the germs and clean them all. <laughs> Look for the germs on their face. Swab. Spread the ointment on the areas of the arm that need treating. with a swab. Spread the ointment on the areas of the face that need treating. Thank <laughs> you. 
we are all done here. Good job. <laughs>